another round of ferocious storms bearing down on Metro Atlanta. It is not hurricane related, but rain now threatening to create added damage for families still picking up from storms last night. Brittany Ford, live tonight on Bramblewood Drive in Northeast Atlanta. Brittany, a whole lot of people have been calling their insurance companies today, just hoping to get help to pay for those damaged vehicles. Well, Sean, yeah, and a frustrating process that has been. Neighbors in this area tell me it took almost 24 hours for crews to start cutting down this massive tree that you can see is still blocking a portion of the roadway this evening. But I really want to bring your attention to the most significant damage here. This is one of several cars that will that were toppled by a tree branch. Tonight, the damage remains as more storms are expected to roll into the area. These are sights and sounds all too common after strong storms. Here on Bramblewood Drive in Northeast Atlanta, car owners devastated. So, I mean, we heard the sound, it was crazy. It's like, it sounded like an explosion pretty much and you just heard like crashing. Bell Bino says it's a feeling you never fully understand until the unlucky cards are dealt your way. I uh, obviously looked out the window and this huge tree has just fallen across the street, smashed three cars. It was very scary. The local storm destruction coming as Hurricane Adalia hones in to Florida. And while Metro Atlanta won't see any significant impacts, parts of South Georgia could. Georgia Emergency Management says crews are on standby. We maintain a stockpile of some supplies for emergencies. We have generators on hand that could be delivered to medical facilities and other emergency centers. So all of those things are kept on hand. Back on Bramblewood Drive, insurance companies are covering the damage and thankfully no lives were lost. And this would have been a totally different story. So. We're definitely very thankful and grateful that nobody got hurt. And grateful and thankful is right. You're looking at another car that was completely toppled by one of those large tree branches. Families out here trying to put the worst behind him again as we expect another round of strong storms. Reporting live in Northeast Atlanta, Brittany Ford, Atlanta News First. Thank you, Brittany.